What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. So trends have come and gone and I've been a designer for well over 20 years now and I'm going to take the same fictional idea, the same design and apply it though towards 10 different trends that I've personally noticed and have used throughout the years. Now these are in no particular order. Let me know in the comments below which one you like the most and let's get started. Now the first trend I'm featuring is flat design, which is still used quite frequently today. It's characterized by simplicity and a lack of effects like gradients, glows, drop shadows, borders, etc. Perhaps one of the more modern trends is glass morphism, which is achieved by adding a glassy, blurred background around some UI elements. So it's easy to get carried away here, so it's best to keep these effects to a minimum. Ah, Numorphism, which was a big trend last year. Numorphism is all about achieving soft, slightly raised 3D containers behind UI elements. This is also one of those trends where it's best to keep it minimum rather than trying to apply it anywhere and everywhere. Next up is monochromatic, which is just using one color. In this context, it's a black background with a white foreground, but it doesn't necessarily have to be black and white. You can use actual color as well. Hold up though, before we continue on, if you're an aspiring UI designer and you really wanna get better, you should definitely check out my UI design bootcamp at scrimba.com. At Scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, 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 you're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So click the very top link here in the YouTube description, and then you'll get access to my UI design bootcamp along with many others for a low monthly fee. Let's get back to it. Ah, uh, good old Web 2.0. Now, Web 2.0 began around 2006 or so and lasted for a good five to seven years. And it's characterized by gradients, glossiness, drop shadows, and rounded fonts. Now this is the trend I'm calling 2012 because for some reason around 2012 to 2016, I recall most landing pages using the same exact formula, a watermarked hero photo with centered type.
Next up is Brutalism Design. This isn't necessarily a trend because this type of design is more like a style. I've seen it throughout years and years. It's characterized by being anti-design. It's rugged and not overly concerned about aesthetics. Next up is Elegant and Luxurious. Again, not necessarily a trend here, but more of a style that's heavily dependent on the type of project. You see a lot of classical serif fonts and font pairings, as well as overlapping elements. But make no mistake about it, if your client is a grandmother, she will love this. Next is the 3D design trend. 3D became pretty popular around 2017 or so, and we still see quite a bit of 3D being integrated in modern UIs today, especially the type that are real soft characters and rounded shapes. Now last but not least is just about the oldest design trend out there, which I call late 90s. Borders everywhere, minimal white space, crammed and cluttered was the design trend back in the day. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below which one you like the most. Subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.